2023 was a very interesting year for the Pixar Cars diecast line, all things considered. Coming off the heels of the Disney Plus show Cars on the Road, we got tons of new releases from that show and only one single new release from the other three Cars movies. Uh, with 48 brand new diecasts consisting of Cars on the Road, the Cars movies, Cars tunes, uh, and expanded universe lines such as Glow Racers and even special Disney 100th Anniversary Cars, I'm breaking all of them down and ranking them from worst to first. Starting off the list as the worst car of 2023 is Glow Racer Cruz Ramirez. I personally am not the biggest fan of the Glow Racers line. I think it's kind of stupid and pointless. Uh, and Cruz Ramirez herself is just is nothing unique, just looks like the plain regular version, only worse. And immediately following that is Glow Racer Fillmore, um, who has a cool 95 logo, but also wears a headset, and I think that's just stupid. 2023 gave us a new variant to the On the Road Lightning McQueen with a cooler expression, in my opinion, but it's just not unique enough to warrant any higher on the list. Doug Crankle is a really cool die cast with a giant brain, obviously, uh, which clearly Mattel lacks since they made him the wrong color. He's supposed to be green, and that's why he's so low on the list. I actually really like the Disney 100 series, however, I'm not a huge fan of the blue hood they gave to Sally. Mark Sontheimer has a cool sleek design, but honestly, he's just a boring version of Dats Jammin. Glow Racer Chase is a car that I don't haven't seen a lot of good pictures of, so it was hard for me to rank, which is why I can't justify putting him any higher, but his design looks pretty cool. Kabuto with Flames is a variant, and he has a really cool expression. Honestly, I thought he would be a lot lower on the list, but now that I have the car in hand, it makes it easy to put him a lot higher. Disney 100 Mater isn't bad per se, but the plastic elements such as his tow hook and mirrors kind of bring him down. May Pillar Durev is a pretty cool release, um, but honestly, her design is kind of messy and I'm not the biggest fan of it. Road Rumbler Mater easily has got to be the most disappointing car of 2023 for me. I mean, he looks so cool with all the guns and the the rivets and the, the mace on his tow cable, but they ruined it with the eyes, and it's just so disappointing. Easily could have been top 10. The Disney 100 Cruise and London McQueen is pretty cool, but just kind of plain, and I think the regular McQueen looks a lot better. Uh, and immediately following that is the Disney 100 Doc Hudson, so, who is, again, like, really plain, so it's hard for me to rank these two. Call me crazy for putting him this high, but I absolutely love the 2023 on-the-road version of Mater. I'm far from the biggest Glow Racers fan, but the Glow Racer McQueen does have a neat design. Kelly Breambright is one of the few 2023 uh, singles I was actually able to get my hands on, and though she's not bad, the, all of the clans kind of look the same to me, and she just happens to be my least favorite. The Pit Stoposaurus is definitely the worst dinosaur, but he's got some cool tusks. Mallory Carhut is the only ghost car we have, and her model is definitely cool, but I'm not the biggest fan of the color choice. Glow Racer Mater does make it fairly high on the list. His design is just so unique. Surprisingly, Disney 100 Flow is this high. Uh, the turquoise stripe just really makes, really pops with the silver. I honestly forgot Gearston Marshall was a 2023 release and not 2022. Uh, he looks cool and all, just kind of flat. Cryptid Buster Mater definitely suffers from the Thailand effect, but it's not as egregious as Road Rumbler, the Road Rumbler version, which is why I can justify putting him a bit higher. Starting off the top 25 is Claire Gunzer, uh, just a cool design. Cryptid Buster McQueen isn't the most exciting McQueen variant, but I think he's pretty cool. Squat has a really nice expression, and I love the spikes on his roof, but overall just not my favorite. Hollem Hands is one of the very few shiny forklifts we have, and I like it. It's impossible to rank Lu Lisa and Louise separately from each other, and I think they're really cool with like their bows and the little frills on their fenders. Breaker Boggs is the only 2023 new release based off any of the actual three cars movies, and because of that, he was almost a lot higher. Like, I genuinely had him in like the top five or ten at one point but the more i look at him the more i wish he was even lower than he is now easter flow kind of came out of nowhere this year and between the turquoise and the pink i think she looks incredible mateo looks really cool in the black and white grooms paint job and i like the little corsage on his left uh, side mirror i know i've hated a lot on the glow racers this video but will rush looks freaking incredible like straight out of mtv 
very vibrant colors, way better than the original die cast in my opinion. Red and black is always one of my favorite color combos, and that's no exception on the Hearst model that is Randy. The only reason why he's not higher is because they really missed with his expression, as his smile is just the same as Steve Herschel's instead of having a toothy grin. In 15th place, we have the Quadratorcosaur, just a cool, unique diecast like all the dinosaurs. Cave McQueen is a cool diecast with great texture and a nice expression. The Disney 100 Lightning McQueen is amazing. I love the red lightning bolt, how it just pops with the silver 95 still being there. The Chiefess is also nice with the big headdress. I really like her in the package because of how big the blister is. Um, but other than that, she's kind of basic. Barely missing the top 10 is movie director Bella Cadavre. Honestly, maybe she shouldn't be this high, but I'm just a really big fan of the character. Starting off the top 10 though is Jeremy. Between all the spikes and the super realistic looking rust detailing, he's definitely deserving of this spot. As I mentioned in my Cars on the Road review, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the character of Mado, but that being said, her diecast is still really cool, especially with the little gap in her teeth. In my opinion, the best of the Disney 100 cars is Ramon. The silver with the purple flames on the side is so freaking cool. And that's why he's deserving of the 8th spot on my list. Seeing McQueen as an actor in Cars on the Road was really cool to me. Because as a kid, I kind of always imagined this like scenario where McQueen was in a movie. Um, and so because of that, just for the nostalgia factor, and I think he is a cool die cast, Deputy Hazard McQueen gets this high. In 6th, we have the tertiary character of Cars on the Road, Ivy. Uh, she's a super cool monster truck. I love the color scheme on her. Expression's all right. Um, honestly, the one thing holding her back is that she was an Amazon exclusive. 2023 gave us another new holiday car, and that being Clutch Kringle, Santa's elf, who gets to round off the top five. He's such a cool die cast, a really fun, uh, and a character I hope to add to my collection someday soon. Fourth place is the coolest dino car, West Philanopolis. I think that's how you pronounce it. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure, but this guy's like Phil more on crack between the horn and the jaw with the teeth and the stuff on his roof. He's just so unique. Such a cool car. In third is Nile Speedcone. Love the color scheme. Love the like sponsors on the bottom. Just a really cool Salt Flats racer to go along next to Peggy Liner. Some may say this is too high, but in the second slot, I have Rogue Rumbler Lightning McQueen. Even if I'm not the biggest fan of the Road Rumbler episode, I love the die casts from it. They're all cool, except for Mater, who unfortunately had the bad execution. But Road Rumbler McQueen is so unique with the mohawk. We're never going to get another lightning like this. And in first place, we have Adam Rodriguez. Yeah, this car, I love how he looks. Like, he's one of those cars you can put in the background of any scene uh, or diorama, and I think he'd, like, fit right in. Um, I know he's kind of simple compared to a lot of the other cars like the dinosaurs and the salt flat racers uh, and the road rumblers of course and he is from ironically my least favorite episode of cars on the road but I don't know there's something about him that like I, I just think he's cool and that's why to me he is the best car released in 2023. Thank you all so much for watching my worst to first ranking of all 2023 new die casts for Pixar cars. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and comment down below who your favorite die cast of the year was. If you think they got snubbed in my ranking and if you think I should do more rankings like this for the other years. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in another one. JS Cars 8 signing out.